Have you ever wondered how to break into the exciting world of ethical hacking to become a pen tester? Today, I'm going to take you on a journey down the roadmap to becoming a professional penetration tester. Whether you're just starting or looking to level up your skills, this video is packed with everything you need to know. As you can see here, being a penetration tester is a highly profitable job. Salaries are, of course, always to a discussion depending on where you are from in the world. These statistics here are just from United States. And we can go ahead and search for other statistics in different places. Now, having a salary over 100000 a year dollars is no bad salary. So becoming a penetration tester in 2024, even 2023, 2025 is a really good thing to be because you can go into the role, into the industry and show them why it's important that they do perform the penetration testing. There's always going to be a demand for new guys in the area of penetration testing. New vulnerabilities pop up every day, more systems are being put online, and there's just a greater and a bigger need for people in the industry to know how to perform a great and good penetration test. This is why I suggest that you should become a penetration tester, because it is not a bad thing to be. You will be in an area that enables you to transition to whatever role you would like to be, when you have been into penetration testing or just cybersecurity for a couple of years, you will see opportunities popping up everywhere. Trust me, it is the real way to go if you're going to go into cybersecurity to become a great penetration tester. So what is it like being a penetration tester? Well, being a penetration tester is all about, well, thinking about how to break into a system. If you like thinking about, well, how can I open this door? How, how, how does the system work behind the scene? What can I do to break in? If you think like that, if you like to think like that, like Sherlock Holmes in many ways, being a penetration tester is actually gonna be quite fun. You will enjoy yourself. You'll have a great time which is why you should definitely suggest yourself to become a penetration tester. So if this is something for you, I suggest that you listen to this I'm talking about today in this course and highly suggest yourself to take this path. I will present to you different ways to become a penetration tester. Of course, there's going to be the traditional way through education and so on. I'm also going to talk about a only and pure certification way. And then I'm going to tell you a third way, which is like a this and that. So let's get started and talk about how to become a penetration tester in 2025. The traditional way that most people get into cybersecurity or to become a penetration tester is, of course, to finish your elementary school. Now, I want to say, depending on where you're from in the world, and I'm from Denmark, and we have, we call it like kindergarten, this is zero class, and then you go up to around the ninth class, and then you can take something after that, which is probably translated to high school, and then you can start on university. Now, depending on where you're from in the world, all these elementary steps before university can differ. And I don't know all the different kind of worlds, uh, and I do not know the different kind of countries, ways or styles to do that. So what I'm talking about here in this video is you can choose yourself, you can go into university and you can take a bachelor's degree and that might take around 3.5 years, maybe up to five years, depending on where you are from in the world. Now, the line on the bachelor is going to be technical, of course. It can either be a programming, a computer science approach, which I would definitely suggest is going to be a computer science. If you have the opportunity to choose a purely cybersecurity or information technology road on the bachelor's degree, you're going to go ahead and pick that. 
Now, after that, you're going to do your masters. And this is going to be quite important because if you're not going to do your masters, you're going to end your education at some awkward place. And I do not suggest that. This is just a highly educational way you can go ahead and do it. Pick yourself a master, something that is aligned with the information security, cybersecurity, or your computer science education from the bachelor degree. Do that. After that, well, depending on where you're from in the world, it can be all from 5.5 years to around 7 to 8 years time before you're done. Now, I know that is a long time to do study, but the things you will get on a school, especially on a university, is a highly critical mind that is going to be ready for every single task there is out there. It's going to be quality time. You can never go wrong with it. But I do know it's going to take some time and you're going to have to take your first job as a junior, something probably in the area of penetration testing or maybe even something different. If you have no experience in penetration testing or have no certifications, well, then you're probably going to start with something junior, with helping someone, maybe in the SOC area of security operations to get into the cybersecurity world. This is just the way that's going to be laid out for you at the front of your feet if you're going to do a university way. Now, I always suggest university way, but of course, there's always going to be some need to go different roads and different paths because universities are not for every single mind. Which is why I'm going to present a different way right now. The certification way to become a penetration tester is something that actually requires a good amount of money. Now, I know that depending on where you're from in the world, educations are not free. In Denmark, we pay a high amount of tax every month, so stuff like educations and healthcare and stuff like that is free. So, depending on where you're from in the world, taking this path might be quite expensive, but there are different ways you can go ahead and choose. I listed to you here four different ways that I'm going to suggest to you to take if you want to become a penetration tester. The very first way I'm going to talk about is the CompTIA way you can go ahead and do. Now, I'm going to suggest if you want to do the only certification way to become a penetration tester using something that is highly easy to get, not that expensive really, well, I guess CompTIA is a way you could try and go. So I suggest you go ahead and do something called core skills first. There's some like ITF, A+, Network+, Security+. After that, you can go ahead and do something like cybersecurity or infrastructure, depending on what you're going to do. Now, if you choose that path, you will have in a round of eight certifications. Those do need to be paid. It is a paid with exams. Now, why did I choose CompTIA? Well, people know them. They are sought after certifications. So people going to know them. That is something you have to think about whenever you choose your certification educational center. The second way you can go ahead to become a penetration tester through only certifications could be to go on a website called Offensive Security. Now they just changed the name to offsec.com but it's the same thing. They have a wide variety of different courses you can choose from, from security essentials, penetration testing, web application security, security operations, threat hunting, incident response, exploit development, and standalone certifications. Of course, you can go ahead and do the certification on security essentials, penetration testing, web application security, and then from here you can go ahead and specialize yourself in a certain area. You can also go ahead and just stop at the first three and go ahead and try and find a job. Now, these certifications do of course have a price. If you already know some things or just want to build on the top of your already experience, you can go ahead and check out the OSCP 
certification. The OSCP certification, which is also known as the PEN 200, which is right here, will go ahead and introduce you to different kinds of things, just like introduction to cybersecurity, common web application securities, location public exploit, fiction exploits, and so on. Now, this is of course not an easy one, but it, it's something that people do know out there. Buying these kind of courses, of course, do have a price. And the price ranges are, of course, as you can see, in the higher end. This is probably the second more expensive way you can go ahead and pay yourself through to become a penetration tester on certifications only. The last way I will suggest you to go ahead and get certifications only to become a penetration tester is go ahead to check out the EC Council Certified Ethical Hacker course. Now, I would say the course alone is not enough. I know that there are actually places in the world where you can go ahead and get a job with this certifications alone. If you can do that, I'm going to say all power to you. But in many places in the world, this is not enough. Now, I'm not gonna, I will not put extra words on why I feel that way, because I think you can probably figure that out if you go ahead and check out the summary. There's also another place called SANS. SANS do have a lot of courses. Now, I would definitely say if you go ahead and take SANS courses, uh, you can take the one called GCPN, GPEN, and GCIO. Let's just open them so you can see what I'm talking about. So it's called the Cloud Penetration Tester. It is called the Penetration Tester Certification. It is a more general one, I think it is. And the Incident Handed Certification. If you take those three, you are covered to go ahead and try and apply for a job. Now, you probably noticed that I'm a bit more reluctant to say this is enough because I feel you kind of need to do both the EC Council Certified Ethical Hacker and the SANS courses. Now, these are quite expensive. If you're going down that road, make sure you have the money. But if you're going down the road, you will also get a highly quality material with you. SANS courses are actually pretty good made. The instructors are highly professional. I actually been on a SANS course before and I want to say I really loved it. I remember every single day. I remember the instructors. They are so great. SANS are really good at hiring instructors to teach you the exact skills you need and they know all the material they teach to a millimeter. So if you want to do the only certification way and you have enough money, I suggest EC Council Certified Ethical Hacker and go ahead and choose some SANS courses. But it's going to be on the good end of $30,000 really fast. So if you have that money, go down that road. The last way that I chose to call the alternative way is to go ahead and say, well, I want to get this really cheap and I want to spend time at home doing practical hands-on exercises. Well, you can do that. There are different ways you can do it. And the very first one is a popular choice these days is called Try Hack Me. Now, I'm also a great Try Hack Me fan. I think it's a great learning area to learn about penetration testing. And of course, you can also go ahead and check out Hack the Box as another place, which is a bit more on the professional end and high end compared to Try Hack Me. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say this is a good way for you to get into the industry. And here is my opinion on that. Now, while both places offer you great learning and you can become a really great penetration tester, it's also a quite narrow area. If you want to choose one of the websites, I would definitely go ahead and say hack the box. They do have a certification there and probably more to come. Who knows, maybe they even created new certifications after I created this video. Doing only penetration testing skills from a website sitting at home 
kind of lacks the human contact, the discussion, the group work, and the other things that the other ways actually offer you. Educational ways offer all the quality time you need to become a great person in the industry. Now, sitting at home just doing this might offer you some contact on Discord. Well, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying some people, this will not work for some people because they need the human contact. And I totally understand that. It's a human thing. It is the way we do stuff in the world. But if you're going to do this, go ahead and try. Try Hack Me first and then do Hack The Box. And then try and get some certifications from the website of Hack The Box. Try Hack Me offers certificate of completion only, but maybe they do offer actual real certifications in the future. Now, if you want to get a small discount for the comp tier courses, you can go ahead and check out Try Hack Me. They have a learning path. They call it the comp tier Pentas Plus. Now, when you finish that, you get a exam voucher that's going to give you 10% off. That is also one way for you to start your career. If you already know you're going to do comp tier, they have a really popular one called Security Plus, Network Plus, and Pentest Plus. This is the way that I call the alternative route. It is actually okay, but which one is you going to choose? That is up to you, of course. So, what is the right choice for you? Now, I'm not going to pick it. You should pick it. If you have the time, well, do educations. That is the way that I suggest. I come from educations. I work as an assistant professor to become an associate professor. I teach people in penetration testing. I know how important it is to have the right amount of time to understand and to get the feel with the computer. If you really want to be a good IT technical information security person in a job, I suggest you go ahead and do something educational. But if you don't have the time for that and you just want to get started, which can be quite good enough, well then you could go ahead and do certifications only. Of course, there's also the alternative way, as I talked about in the video before, doing stuff like Try Hack Me and Hack The Box, which is a more like a hands-on wage approach. Now, which is the way for you? I'm going to let you choose. See you out there.